Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Now, sometimes we get the urge to create when we haven't really got a lot of time to sit down and think about a long drawn out process of what I'm gonna do, what colors am I gonna use, what focal point are we going to include into our art journal pages. Now, sometimes we just wanna sit and do in a very, very short space of time. And this is what I did with this art journal page. Now, this took me from start to finish around about 10 minutes and sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes you need, just need to get sat down and get something down on paper, and that's okay. Who says that every art journal page has to take you hours? So this is the process, I did film it. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you again at the end. So I'm working in my 10 by 10 journal, and I'm going to use this new pot of clear gesso that I've recently purchased using some of the money that has been kindly donated through my angel page. So thank you very much for all your support on that. Now I'm putting the clear gesso on the page. Now the reason I'm using clear instead of white is because A, I've never used the clear gesso before and I wanted to compare it with the white gesso. And also I wanted to maintain the integrity of the white page. And I was hoping that the clear gesso would be exactly that. Now as you can see, when it goes on, it has got a slight creamy cast to it but when it does dry, it does go completely clear. Okay, to speed up the process of drying, I am gonna use my heat tool just to give it a quick blast to make sure that it's all nice and dry. So the first of my three colors is this Periwinkle Blue, and this is the Artiste range of acrylic paints. Now this is a very inexpensive um, range of paints from Do Crafts, and all I'm going to do is just randomly spread some of that paint, and I've watered it down. I'm just going to randomly just splash some of the paint around the page. And I'll just mention that uh, in between each layer of colour and whatever I'm putting down, I will heat gun to make sure it's all nice and dry before I move on. So here I've just taken a page of book text and I'm just going to randomly tear into strips and I'm not particularly bothered about the shapes as long as they're long and thin that's all I need for this page and using some Mod Podge which is the matte medium I'm going to stick those book strips or book page strips across the bottom third of my page. So the second of my colours from the same range of paints, this colour is called Pumpkin, obviously it's orange. And I'm just going to do exactly the same thing as I did with the Periwinkle, I'm just going to water it down slightly and then just randomly paint it around the page. And while I've still got some of that paint down on my craft mat, I'm just going to add a few orange splatters too. So now I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors and just trim off the excess pieces of book text on either side of the page. And then it's time to add my third colour. Now this is the Burnt Sienna from the same range of paints again. So this is from the Dovecraft range of acrylic paints. And using a craft sponge and my Letter Jumble stencil from Dilutions, I'm just going to randomly place some of those letters onto the page using the acrylic paint and the sponge. And of course, I could have just as easily achieved the same effect using archival ink or even distressing or any type of ink that you wanted to. But for this, I wanted to carry on using the acrylic paints. There's no real reason for it. It was just a design choice at this stage. 
So for my focal point, I've still been experimenting with the old bad photocopy filter in Adobe Photoshop and I've taken an old vintage photo, replicated it three times and then applied that old photo photocopy filter to it. And I'm really, really pleased with the effect that it's given me. So this is probably going to be one that I will be playing with quite a lot over the next few weeks or so. I love how you can get the same effect from an old photograph that you would have done if I'd have actually had a stamp um, to do this image with. When I stuck down my focal image there, I obviously covered over some of the stenciled imagery. So I'm going to reapply some of that brown paint back through the stencil. Now, I obviously haven't put enough paint on the sponge, so I'm just going to do that again. And this time I'm actually going to go over the top of the corners of my focal image and I will add a little bit at the other side too. So next I'm bringing that periwinkle blue back in. I'm just going to put a small dob on my craft mat and using the same sponge, I'm going to mix up the blue with the remnants of the brown and then using the Dilutions Bubbles stencil, I'm just going to apply that paint through the stencil just in random areas around my page. And while I have that periwinkle on my craft mat, I'm just going to mix it with a little bit of water and just also add some blue splashes to the page too. Not enough, so I'll just add a little bit more. The blue splashes are a very subtle addition, but it does help to pull all the colours together. And finally, I have my quote on my phrase to add, which I've already printed out using my Dymo Letter Tag label printer. And I'm just peeling the backs off there. And because I want to get the first phrase exactly straight, I'm just attaching it to the top of my ruler. You can just see me fiddling with it off camera. I will bring it back in again, so you can see it there. Now this is so that I make sure I get it real straight when I stick it down. And then I can just release it off the bottom of the ruler like so perfect placement and then I just have three more words to add and I'll just be doing that individually underneath my focal point. But now they're all stuck down nicely, I'm just going to bring out a black pen. This is a waterproof pen, very, very cheap one that I just picked up from my local supermarket. And I'm just going to go around my letter blocks, my word blocks, just adding in a rough border just to make them stand out a little more. And that's it for this page. I'm not going to do any more. All that is left for me to do is just to sign and date it. And then I'm calling this page done. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick art journal page. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can do so by clicking this button just here. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.